Hey guys, what's up? Just finished a workout and a hike with the puppies and I'm just doing a few errands. I'm currently outside Canadian Tire right now because I need to pick up a fence or like a little white picket fence for the, the garden because Ritz seems to really enjoy peeing in my garden bed. So <laughs> I'm trying to find um, like a fence just to put around it so it keeps him away. Um, but otherwise, we're just going to be doing some plant chores and uh, yeah, we'll do some repotting and I'll show you my ginormous palmani and um, let's just get into it. So this is what I was able to pick up from Canadian Tire. They're like nine bucks a piece and there are the puppies and this is what we're working on today. So I'm kind of fighting against mother nature right now because we're calling for a storm but it's really bright so it might just happen suddenly um, that bush over there needs to be trimmed that lilac probably needs to be pruned and over here is where Ritz likes to pee and I have some peonies and some tulips growing so nothing's gonna grow if he keeps peeing on it so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all the weeds and just clean it up a little bit freshen up the soil and uh, put the, the fence down while well, these guys just sunbathe. <laughs> well, this is as good as it's gonna get. I hope it kind of holds itself because it's, it's raining. So yeah, here's that storm I was talking about. All right, so the rain obviously had me stop working on my garden. So I decided to cook myself a healthy meal. So this is ravioli, some Italian sausage and tomato and some greens. Um, yeah, I actually found this recipe on Instagram and I thought it was really easy and it looked really healthy and so far it's pretty good. I did add like, you know, a little bit of <laughs> pizzazz um, with like onions and mushrooms. but. If you guys want to know how to make this just uh, drop a comment down below and I'm gonna just finish this up and take you guys upstairs and repot my palmeni okay we're back and here is the palmeni that we will be repotting today and as you can see it's just huge uh, it has three leaves up here that I started air layering so I believe I started air layering this about three weeks ago and it has like a little root coming over here which is nice and then we have these three leaves over here and I I don't know I think it's just time for a chop and repotting this thing even this yellow I mean even this leaf right here is just not happy so I think I think it's due for a repot so Let's just change angles so you can see what it is that I'm doing. Alrighty, so I have my trusty potting mat and if you guys don't already know, I do make these and you guys can actually customize the color buttons that you want and I do have flower buttons now and heart buttons. So if you want one, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can purchase one as well. It's actually very handy, especially when you're repotting and you're doing it on a desk and you don't wanna make a mess. You can go ahead and just lay this down and roll it back up later when you're done using it. So let's check this out. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm just gonna remove this bag and then just kind of go for it. All right. So this is what we're working with right here. So this is from Air Layering, which is quite nice actually. And I'm probably gonna cut right in between here and I'm gonna hope that there's a node somewhere back here <laughs> to keep the rest of it alive. So I'm just gonna give it a cut right here. Oh, that's a good cut. All right, so here we are. We have a top cut and she is looking so nice. I love that this leaf is starting to harden off. Um, I do wanna mention that when you are cutting your plants and it's starting to unfurl, I would highly recommend that you wait 
until it has already unfurled and it's starting to harden off because if you don't you're going to run the risk of stunting the growth of your plant um so yeah this new leaf that's going to come in later i think will be okay because there's sufficient roots here that it'll just get the nutrients from here so i think i'll be fine even if it's just a smidgen smaller I, i'm not going to be too upset about it now the bottom cut <sighs> i don't know what's going on with it like this yellow leaf is just interesting to me. So I'm just gonna just let it do its thing. It's rooting really well, so I don't know what its problem is. Yeah, I don't know, but in any case, it's just gonna stay over there. I'm gonna just focus on this guy over here. So I am going to clean off um, the moss. I might leave the majority of it on here and just kind of soak it and I think this time I'm going to actually um, add some cinnamon to this, the end right here. So you can see it's kind of starting to bleed a little bit, which is interesting. And I just want it to stop its juices from going all over the place. So I am going to add some cinnamon. And you know, there are antiseptic properties to using cinnamon. So that's one of the benefits of using cinnamon. I know some people are like pro cinnamon, some are against cinnamon, but I'm just, it's whatever I'm in the mood for. So today I'm in the mood for cinnamon. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this guy up and start repotting. So I've gone ahead and just added cinnamon to the end of this cut over here so the juices can stop flowing and it'll stop bleeding on me um i am going to leave the moss where it is i'm probably just gonna give it a little spritz and i do have um my orchid mix ready so we will be using orchid mix that has been pre-soaked overnight with a touch of soil with a whole lot of perlite so this is the combination that i'll be using today for um this palmani all right, so I've decided to actually go with a vase and just pot this guy up in here. And the reason for that is because the roots aren't, you know, that great right now. And I want to be able to see its development. So it does fit in here pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and just pot it up here. And these guys are crawlers anyways. So once this actually pushes off, the next one will just grow horizontally and it'll be fine um, if it like continues to grow outwards and you know doesn't stay contained uh, but yeah I think this is how I'm gonna pot this guy up all right so here is the finished product my palmani is looking super cute and I think I figured out why this leaf is facing so weird I think it's actually because it wants to face this direction but it can't because its petiole is in the way so it's just going to continue to look like this <laughs> it's like the little leaf that couldn't or could or whatever that saying is but in any case um this growth point right over here it is starting to grow and face that direction as well so i'm confident that the new leaf will look very cute and it'll look very full so I'm very happy about that. And like I had said, I prefer to have this cutting in um, this non-drainage vase with Leica on the bottom because it's actually gonna assist me in watering my plant. So you can actually pour water, well, I wanna say pour, but water your plant up until it reaches like the Leica zone. Once it's past the Leica zone, it's in like the soil zone, that's when you're gonna get root rot. So Go ahead and dump the water out. Um, just make sure that the water does stay in the Leica zone. And if your Leica is moist, that means there's enough water in here for the plant. So it'll be okay. Um, but in any case, care tips, I don't really have very many, um, especially for giant philodendrons like this. They actually just reside downstairs in normal room temperature and humidity. I don't do anything special to these guys because they're just really big plants and they need to be able to acclimate and live in the environment that i'm giving them because i don't have a giant greenhouse inside so this is how it's going to stay and uh and live and i'll give you guys updates if it starts to fail i'm going to give you guys an update if 
the bottom cutting starts to fail. Because this, um, this yellowing leaf is very suspicious to me. I don't know what's going on with it. But you know, it is a bottom cutting and technically this plant had like six leaves. So, you know, sometimes older leaves just die off and that's perfectly normal, especially if it's continuing to give you growth. I guess I shouldn't be too concerned about it. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.